All right, YouTube, today is the 27th of December, and I want to take a closer look at the analemma, as you see here, but not from this view, from a side view perspective. It'll be pretty much just a straight line. But what I want to try to do, and I think we could do this, is actually um, map out the dome. Um, if what we're seeing is a reflection and the sun is actually not where it is compared to where we see it, there's got to be a way to figure this out. So what I've been doing is taking different cities and locations and using uh, what is this? time and date dot com uh, site to map out the locations of where the sun would be at a given time from each area let me let me show you a different view well, before I do that here's a a picture of the dome and what I picture every time we look at the the moon or stars through say the p900 camera it always seems like it's underwater um, not that it's underwater itself but we might be looking at it through water um, it, it does appear to move anyway so taking that's what we got um, this is what I actually picture the dome looking like. It's actually the dome itself. It's one piece, but it's got an open section in the middle where there's uh, room for the sun and moon to fly around. And under here, of course, you see that's where the birds fly. It's uh, biblical. Birds fly in the heaven, and the sun and the moon are also in the dome. Uh, but anyway, let me show you another another image I got here. All right, here I got a board mapping out the sun from different locations at the same time every day. And this is for a six-month period. It starts with uh, Santiago, Chile. There's another city in Chile, the equator, um, the Dominican Republic, and ending at Boston. Now, when you look at this, it's kind of confusing and everything looks like a complete mess and a glober would probably say well instead of having the flat land if you were to put this on a globe so in other words twist this whole thing these lines might line up into a straight nice perfect curve um, but we're not dealing with that and most of us know it so anyway what is going on here why does the Sun look so low like say down here in January from Boston and the Dominican Republic the Sun is really low in the sky or it appears to be that way I mean this is only about say off the water it's about 1200 miles up in the air where at the highest points where two cities would see it it'd be almost 3700 miles in the sky well if we were to try and figure out the height of the dome I'm gonna have to try and figure out what's going on here so I will show you that example hang on all right this place is a mess I got some uh, construction going on so I have to bear with me um, these are the models I started working with I have a curved um, dome say this is a slice of the dome that I took out this is actually filled with water right now okay, anyway I had a straight one back there, but the one that I think it would most resemble would be one like this. So I'm not even going to use that one back there, but what I will do is I will take this back section off, make it longer, and it sort of basically look like, like that area right in there. But here's what happens when we take a look at something. I have a socket back there. I was checking uh, different depths. As you see, I got a battery way back there, another socket. But let's take this one, for example. All right, and what we're going to do is we'll look at it through the water here, and we'll line up the pen with this nail here pointing straight at that. Uh, see, that looks pretty good. Okay, now, look what happens when we go above it. So you notice where we see it, is actually lower than where it really is and I have a laser pen here I can also demonstrate that if you look at the wall back there right now I got it shining through the water and if I raise it up you'll see it jump see it jump to 
the right, probably about maybe three, four inches on the, on the back wall there. Well, if this was thicker, like on this side, if it was thicker, there might be more of an angle of refraction because right now I'm only getting maybe six degrees and as you see going straight through it, it's perfectly lined up where it's supposed to be. The more angle you put on this going through water, the more it's offset. All right, that's just one example on how the sun is not actually where we see it. Now, once I change this and make this piece straight here, I'm hoping I'll be able to get more refraction. And we'll do this one more time. I have a socket back there. This will give you an idea how much more refraction there is. Um, pen's pointing at it again. Okay, now that's about 10 or 12 degrees. And hopefully that would explain why the sun seems so low in the sky from um, Boston.